Hey, what's up guys? It's Adren, and I want to show you guys a round here on Cloud9's T side. It is Cloud9 versus Stralis at the most recent E-League Major. Um, I really like this round from Cloud9. You can see that there is a game plan from start to finish. Um, and this strat creates a lot of opening openings and opportunities for them, as well as, uh, you know, mani manipulates the rotates. Uh, so going into it here, uh, I'm going to quickly just show the strat just so you can get a feel for what we're going to be looking at here. It's going to be quickly two smokes outside, E-Box and 5-6, which are your default pressure smokes we'll talk a little bit about. Four going towards enter, automatics going to watch the ladder flank, while three people take brown hall control here. Skadoodle's going to smoke Z, Tarek's going to smoke back six. Um, at the same time, automatic and rush after Stewie and Tarek make contact outside. They're going to walk out inner upper and claim the inner bomb site. Skadoodle grabs the bomb uh, and then after plan happens. And this round actually ends up not being too clean, but Cloud9 does win it from a 2v4 actually. But I just like the opportunities that it gives Cloud9 here because it's not too often and it's one of the struggles on T-side train is you feel like you never are in a favorable fight on a terrorist side. Um, it always seems like you're getting shot from a weird angle. You're just not having fair fights. You're running through smokes, mollies. So I really like the opportunity. This allows the players, you know, frag out um, and also tricks uh, the defense into where you're actually hitting. Uh, so going into it here, we are just going to go ahead and skip right into it. Going back, Rush and Skadoodle actually clutch that 2v4. But starting off here, um, and like I said, like, there's a game plan from start to finish here, which is what I really enjoy because everyone on the team knows exactly what's expected of them. And this is a strat that could definitely be audible. Um, I didn't notice Cloud9 running this again, but I didn't watch every single other, one of their train matches. But this mat, uh, this strat could definitely be audible uh, depending on where the openings and opportunities happen at. So I'm going to show you just some of the smokes real quick. Rush is throwing 5-6 smoke. Um, you just come to the corner here uh, and aim right where he's aiming right now. Boom. That's going to be this smoke here. I'll show you the E-Box smoke. If you come in this corner, simply come in this corner. And then you aim from this chimney here, just simply up to the wire. Boom. That's going to give you the E-Box smoke. And the point of the, these smokes are to make the CT sweat. You don't want the CTs to know exactly what you're doing. You're denying vision. You're baiting utility. Um, so the CTs use the molly here. Dupree can't see T-Con. The guys on bomb train can't see Sandwich and out Olaf. Um, you know, and Device can't see that either. So you're denying a lot of vision, making them not sure what's going on here. Uh, and like I said, it does burn some utility. I think they use like one Molotov. I'm not sure exactly what they use, but that's the idea of these smokes, guys. And um, Russian Automatic purposely are the ones that throw it, throw them. Because they are the ones that are going to walk out in her upper. So, going here. Let me show you uh, what Tarek does here to take inner control. Um, nothing too crazy, but I do want to show you guys. So you're going to, and you're here, he's going to Molotov upper, denies any upper, trying to, you know, peek, peek that, just backs him off, and he's going he's gonna to throw this flash, right? Just right clicks it, boom, slowly take inner control, he's going to go back and take ladder control with Stewie. Stewie flashes down, kind of goes down with it, checks it out, alright, it's clear, boom. Let me go ahead and show you Tarek's smoke here. He's going to line up. He's going to snug himself in this corner right there. Boom. And then he's going to smoke back six. He's also going to throw a flash out. And then Ska is lining up his Z smoke and then flashing over twice. I'll show you uh, the Z smoke. It's not the one he uses. I don't know his lineup. But if you come in between, uh, if you come in between these two boxes here, just right in the middle, and then you aim at the top right, of that building boom gives you an easy z smoke so just a second ago scott flashed over twice for stewie and Tarek, and they're just going to entry out and just make any plays happen right 
And it's always great knowing that you can be super aggro because, um, you know, it's part of the strat. Like, so it gives these guys a lot of freedom to make plays out here, knowing that the strat is probably going to be ended up going inner. Um, so it gives these guys the room to make plays. And Stewie actually throws this back lane smoke like that. Um, I don't know if it was just like an on-the-fly smoke that he decided to throw, but I actually like it. Unfortunately, if he would have waited one more second, he would have not gotten off by device. But um, either way, Tarek, you can see he's just fearlessly charging up. Got flashed out, going all the way up the lanes here. Um, and now let's see the, the space that it creates for the inner players. Pretty much done with the strat though, guys. But um, I guess not pretty easy because there is a lot that goes into it, but... Uh, let's see here. Let's just watch Rush and Automatic's timing. We'll watch the inner player. Zipnix is basically playing inner. Uh, retake. For the most part, he's playing really passive. Just spotting upper. So right now, they are throwing the smokes outside. You can hear them bloom. He leaves upper. He's still aware that this could be inner. So he's watching lower ramp. So... Uh, this is when automatic and rush are out upper B. They're not throwing any nades. They're just charging out. Zipnix goes to rotate outside. And then boom, gets caught. He's lucky that he didn't die, honestly. Um, and boom. Inner belongs to C9. But that's pretty much it, guys. And there is the utility coming out. It's... It is in a 2v4, but I'm like just saying, the opportunities here, I really like this round, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. See ya.